Hello? Can I help you? Uh, can you sit here? Oh, but is the rest of the train full already? Oh, of course you can, I'm sorry. Here, I'll move my bag. There. Oh, you... you don't really have to thank me. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. I just noticed your uniform. Yeah, I'm... I'm also an Emory High student. Are you a first year too? I thought so. You kind of have that look about you. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way, you just give off that appearance. I can't really explain it. Second years have this confidence, and third years are kind of intimidating. Oh, never mind. Huh? How long is the train ride? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> My mother drove me to the entrance ceremony. This is my first time riding it. Maybe based on the distance. Hmm. Fifteen minutes? Oh, well, the station is very close to Nemuru High School, so it won't take long to walk the rest of the way. Uh, but there's kind of a hill, but if you walk quickly, you shouldn't be late. Hmm. We'd still have about 40 minutes before the first bell, and the incline, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I have a bad tendency to trail off. Usually people just stop listening, so I don't really bother. No, oh, it's okay, I'm used to it. It's, it's not their fault. I'm not very interesting. So, I don't hold anything against them. It's okay. We don't have to talk the whole way. I, I've brought a book, so I don't mind. You... you still want to talk? <laughs> what is that? Someone tells you you're boring and... you're kind of a strange person. <laughs> okay. Hi. My name's Annabelle. What would you like to talk about? The book I'm reading? Mm. It's a thriller slash mystery. It won a lot of awards a few years ago, but I'm only just getting around to it now. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a movie now too, but I haven't seen it. I usually try and read the book first. Mm. What? The book is always better. Mm. I know a lot of people say that, but... I don't know if I agree. I do think that sometimes film can't quite capture what a book was trying to say, and then it can go in a different direction entirely in order to try and stand on its own two feet. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Maybe it's not the best adaptation, but maybe we shouldn't go into films expecting that. Hmm. It can be a lot easier for some people to relate to characters on the screen than on a page. And for others, it's a lot easier when the character is inside your own head. I don't think that anyone can decisively say that books or movies are always better. Do I like books better than movies? Hmm. I read more books than I watch movies, but I don't dislike movies. Sometimes I'll like the movie more than the book. Did you know Jumanji was only a so-so picture book, but I really loved Robin Williams in the movie, and The Godfather is a wonderful movie, but personally I really struggled to finish it. And the same for American Psycho, I felt so tired. Exhausted, even after finishing it. And the Delphi's Prada book wasn't really anything that special, but the movie is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. 
those movies are all very, very different. R really? Well, I suppose they are. Is that strange to like different kinds of movies? What kinds of movies do you like? Hmm. I'm not sure if I would have guessed that by looking at you. Oh, I, I don't mean that as an insult. I'm... I'm sorry, it's wrong to make assumptions on people, but it's hard. I kind of see everyone like a character. And I like to try and guess what sort of character they might be. That's kind of weird, uh huh. What kind of character do I think you are? Mm. If I'm being honest. You look like a totally ordinary high school student, but just by talking to you, you give off the air of a protagonist, someone, someone just about to embark on a new adventure. I'm sorry, that must sound so silly, but that's the impression I get. I've, I've only just met you, so... kind of character do I think I am? Well, I know I'm my own point of view, but, well, I'm more of a background character, honestly. Maybe an exposition character. <laughs> That's kind of depressing to say, but if I can be helpful, then I guess I don't mind. <laughs> heroin? What are you talking about? No, a, a heroine is someone who shines, shines brightly, who others gravitate toward, who moves the plot, and I, I don't, I mean, I, I can't really see that about me. It's nice of you to say, but I, mm, I don't think that's really me. Mm. Clothes? Oh, um, I'm not sure yet. I'm still deciding. I could join the literature club or the library committee, but I'm not sure. The committee would be a lot more work, and... I don't know if I'm prepared to share my writing with classmates. I honestly think I'd die if they laughed at me. And if there isn't a literature club, then I guess that makes the decision for me. What about you? Are there... are there any clubs you're thinking of joining? Okay. So, you haven't fully decided either. Well, that's okay. There's no real cutoff date for applying to clubs, only creating new ones. It can be hard to find a teacher to supervise halfway through the semester. Uh, but I don't know about being a club leader. There's a lot of pressure on club leaders. They have to give reports and talk to teachers and there's the school festival. Just thinking about it makes me feel like I have vertigo. <laughs> so student council, I, are you out of your mind? That'd be even worse. That's all the work of a club leader doubled, tripled. No way, no way, no way. The amount of pressure would crush me to death. I'd rather die from a million paper cuts. It's impossible for someone like me. No, the idea of the paperwork doesn't bother me, but talking to people and on behalf of my classmates, there's there's no way I could do something like that. Student council members have to talk to lots of people, and I'm, I'm not capable of that. We're, we're talking right now. This is different. I can't. 
usually talk to people. You're not. You're somehow kind of easy to talk to. Oh, please forget I said anything. I'm sorry, this is probably why I shouldn't talk to people. I just... I say ridiculous things. You, you don't have to be so nice. What? D do I always ride the train? Well, I, I will be. It's the fastest way to get to school. W what about you? Will you be riding the train again? Mm. I see. So, I suppose we'll probably see each other a lot. Oh, oh, that doesn't mean you have to sit with me every morning, or if there are other free seats, I, I won't be offended. You, you really want to sit with me again? I, I wouldn't mind if you'd like to. I don't mind what we talk about. Oh, we're almost at our stop. Did, did you maybe want to walk to school together? No, no, I, I didn't say anything. Never mind. Um, I, I'll see you in school, maybe. Thank you for sitting with me. I'll see you later. Hi. This is Vivi, and I just wanted to say thank you for 100 subs. I know that may seem like a small number, but it's a big number to me. <laughs> I definitely did not see me having this many people supporting and encouraging me by this stage, and I'm honestly so, so happy and Just wanted to make sure that you knew that I appreciate it. I also want to give a special little shout out to Gemini and Rose, who, if you haven't checked them out, definitely do. They are amazing, and I couldn't be here without them. I'd also like to give a little shout out to Box, wherever she may be. We love you, girl. And a shout out to my newest gang of friends who have been really, really big part of encouraging me into staying on track when they're not distracting me. So, quick shout out to Glaucoma Gang. And a quick thank you to Fortune for naming this particular girl. I hope you all liked her. I can't wait to see what we all get up to in the future. Thanks for being with me on this journey. Alright. Bye.